Howdy folks. You know, I was driving around back in February this year and uh, on my service route and uh, came across this old golf cart sitting along the road. Well, it looked like it was an old farm cart and the kid that had it just looks like he just beat the living heck out of it. And I thought, well, you know, it's a couple hundred bucks. I'd just take it home and we'll just run it around the property like, like it is, just beat up, just have a little bit of fun playing with it. Well, I got it home and I started looking at it a little closer and found out actually Harley was uh, the original manufacturer of these carts. And back in 82, they sold this cart uh, line to uh, Columbia. Well, that's what this one happened to be in 85 Columbia. Well, the closer I looked at it, I thought, maybe we can do something with this. It had a really good frame to it. So I started looking into a little bit more. And uh, these old Harleys looked a lot better. I liked the body style a lot better, the older ones. So I started thinking, well, maybe I could take this really nice frame that it's got and motor, everything was good, and uh, convert that to a, a body off of a, an older Harley to have a pretty nice card out of the deal. Well, I came across an old Harley then, 1975, brought that home. And uh, that's where the film began. Uh, I got into it quite a bit more than I first originally expected to do and uh, it turned out to be a kind of a summer project and threw a lot at it never really did one of these before never you know got into completely restoring anything like this and uh, just stripped her down and went at it and here I guess back at the end of August now I got something that's kind of finished up there's still some things I'd like to do to it I got some wheels coming for it some nice aluminum wheels and uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more bling on it and uh, We'll end up with a pretty nice finished product, but uh, here it is so far. If you want to take a look at it, uh, got some questions or something, let me know. Uh, it's, it was an uh, interesting thing to do. Okay, you all have a nice day now. Bye now. Well, here you go, folks. This is my hybrid 1975-1985 Harley Davidson golf cart. It's a little cloudy today. It shines a lot more. It has some a pretty deep paint there that uh, has a lot of clear coat on it, metallic, but it uh, doesn't show up so good on this cloudy day. I might just remake this here on a sunnier day and give you an idea of what it really looks like in the sunshine. It's completely different. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of been going over from top to bottom. It's not completely original or anything, but uh, you know, like I said, it's a hybrid. It came out pretty well. I, I think there's, of course, there's things you do on next time different on anything, but uh, for the most part, I pretty much like what I did here. I think uh, what I'm going to do here is stop this for a second. We'll lift up the lid and give you an idea of what it looks like inside. Okay, here we got a shot from the inside. As you can see, we kind of pretty much went over everything, even the frame. Everything's been painted and... and uh, redone. There's very little new parts on it. Most of what you're seeing is older stuff. That uh, About the only thing really new on it would be that battery and that uh, generator there. Uh, the rest is all original. And then for an old farm card, it's surprisingly good shape. As you can see, there's the inside of the body. It's hinged. It makes for nice service, and that's for sure. I was really intrigued with this the way this thing ran because the motor actually spins backwards on a Harley for the reverse uh, which was kind of fun has a little bit different kind of way to time it and everything in a regular motor but uh, it was it was a lot of fun fooling with it learned quite a bit uh, we also this card here we decided to put lights all the way around and it's got four ways lights turn signals stops everything and uh, here you can see we have a little bit of that on the dash I'm going to be changing some of this a little bit uh, we're going to make some uh, some stickers on here and stuff to uh, accent these switches and all. Uh, there's the brakes. Break, the brake on that's a little different. You have to use a momentary switch on there. And you can see the little button on the brake pad there. Also has a little musical horn on there. But uh, quite, quite pleased with the way it came out. It does start well in forward and reverse. That's a pretty good indication. I got the timing right. Um, I think uh, maybe we'll just go ahead and close her up here now. I think we'll jump back here and give you an overall view here once too before we do that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, there's one little feature in the back here I'll show you too. I just ran into this material here the other day. It's uh, this carbon fiber uh, sheeting that I, I just found a bunch of it on the internet lately. And uh, it made for a really nice surface material to protect this rear end on this. This stuff goes on good. It's, it's strong as could be. Uh, just love the stuff. I'm going to end up using some more of that on some other things I've got. It's, it's relatively inexpensive too, but I love it. Okay, why don't we go ahead and take her around the block a little bit here and let you see what it sounds like, what it runs like. 